Mzansa over there with the whistle. You know, he's got the, the new greeting of Mzansa, the new greeting of South Africa. So I'm definitely greeting you guys. Today is indeed Monday and I hope, uh, it, yeah, it is Monday and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome Monday. As you can see, man, uh, people are out here. We are memeing it away. You know, we've got uh, this. If you guys want to take your whole safety and your precautions to the next level, you can get yourself a, a mask from Louis Vuitton. But yeah, man, that is what is going on right now. We are here and we are live. You know, we are in that national disaster. But it doesn't mean that we have lost our sense of humor, I suppose, as a people. You know, we still out here. We still doing the most and being the best. Now, I will say this. It is some tough times and uh, I will urge a lot of people, everyone in fact who's watching this, to do take the virus seriously. Do take all the necessary precautions and everything. You know, be safe out there. Be safe. And uh, yeah, some talk, tough, tough times and I wish we do come out and talk about it in the end, you know, once we are out of this particular predicament. Now, I do have some red hot news for you today. The topics that we'll be discussing are in the description down below. The timestamps will follow after the video. Now, with that said, hello and welcome to Red Live. Now, our very first topic, our first topic that we're going to be talking about, in fact, is all the events that have been cancelled, basically. I think that's what we're going to talk about, all the events that have been postponed, cancelled because of the virus. So I thought, you know what, instead of doing one by one all of the events, let's just put it into one particular topic and talk about it. As you can see, it says the coronavirus pandemic has been spreading in different countries daily and due to the virus big events have been stopped from happening on sunday president sir ramaphosa yesterday declared a state of disaster because of the virus as a result banning large gatherings so of course any large gathering that is over uh, 100 people has now been banned and basically what that means is that a lot of events that were planned in south africa and abroad are going to be cancelled. So we're going to the first one that we're going to talk about is the NTN Joyous Celebration Easter Tour has been cancelled, has been postponed. You can see there they posted on their social media account. They were announcing that they have postponed it until further notice. Another event that got postponed is the Scorpion Kings live concert. Now I will say this about the Scorpion Kings live concert. I'm a bit gutted because I do recall DJ Maporisa wanted fifty thousand retweets. I retweeted that, you know, and now to hear that the concert is now postponed it kind of guts me the most this one is the most heartbroken i am because i retweeted it like i said uh the next uh event that has been postponed u.s singer bb winings was also said to perform at the ticket pro dome in johannesburg and at the durban icc this week that has been cancelled the management of the market theater foundation has also uh put out a statement it says we suspended physical attendance for all classes at the market theater photo workshop and at the market theater laboratory but we have put in place non-contact teaching methodology through online systems so it's good to see that that, uh, they are coming out with new ways to kind of get people the education that they need even though we are in this particular quarantine type of phase in South Africa so it's good to see people coming and thinking and doing things out of the box the Red Bull BC1 Cypher South Africa plan for the 22nd of March has been postponed uh, UJ's Arts and Culture postpones all upcoming events uh, the 4th it's supposed to be the 14th annual South African Film and Television Awards the South this 14 has also been postponed so the softest mm -mm, they've been postponed i did see on social media people were saying you know what just sms us or whatsapp us the winners but yeah it has been postponed the hennigan f1 johannesburg festival has been postponed and this one kind of <laughs> had me chuckling a little bit the corona uh, sunset festival has been postponed now i did read somewhere you know this might be a joke but i did read somewhere in social media that uh the sale of corona the alcohol has kind of take, taken a, a hit because of all of uh what has been going on with the coronavirus so people are thinking that if you drink the alcohol corona you're gonna get the virus so yeah anyways let us move on to our second topic and that is kakiso mudupe's film losing lerato wins six awards at an international film festival so definitely congratulations are in order and this is after 
Kakhisa Mudupe's film that crossed millions at the local box office here in, in, in South Africa, Losing Lerato, it does seem that it has also won over the international o uh, audiences, I suppose. Now, the film was nominated f at the Idol Wild International Festival for six awards, and they took home six awards. Now, Kakhisa Mudupe on his route i suppose on route to going there he posted the following video let me just play it for you guys losing the rato got That's six right. international awards That's right. uh, nominations uh, which is a big thing so yes. he took us as his whole team the cast yes um to, you know just to come in as tatama wise and when they say what the nominees are yeah uh, part of it is also to raise funds yes and, right. to create more awareness and more content and more content yeah. and we're also we're looking for partners here in the u.s uh, to support the productions um, so this man here, I guess we, we here, man. LA, come on. We, we Asdal Nabo. Asdal Nabo. So, yeah, we were here to grab a couple of awards and back at home. And then they took all the awards, yeah. by the way. We had to grab awards and then back at home. Back at home. Back at home. I think they're not aware that back at home, the saftas, they have been postponed. But anyways, let's just continue with the video. Oh, yeah. You, you, you get what you I'm saying. You get what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Because I know we've got awards in a couple <laughs> of awards. You get what no, I'm saying. No, they postponed. Get <laughs> yeah so yeah he posted that video on uh on social media posted it on the 10th this was before the awards the awards were actually this weekend so look they were uh, nominated for six like i said they won all six and they said that they're coming home to win the awards i'm assuming that they're talking about the softest because those are the next awards that have were supposed to be coming up and i suppose as of right now maybe they don't know that the softest has been postponed they might not even know that we are under quarantine here in South Africa. We are in a national disaster. So when they do come home, they're not coming home to a parade. They are coming home to being quarantined. That's what's going to happen to them. But definitely a huge congratulations to them. And uh, yeah, all the best uh, when they do come back. And I uh, hope that they do survive whatever quarantine and that they, they do come back and they are all fine. And uh, yeah, like I said, huge congratulations to them. Our third story is of amanda dupont now she found herself being dragged on social media for posting a picture of herself flying to turkey so like i said amanda dupont found herself being accused of being uh, reckless after she posted a picture on social media uh, that she was heading to turkey and this is obviously amid the spread of the coronavirus she also encouraged people on her platforms to do the same meaning to travel to turkey now like i said she posted on her instagram she posted the following picture on her instagram you know she's on a flight there the turkish flight and she uh, captioned it flying to turkey one of my favorite countries in the world feeling safe knowing that the turkish airlines disinfects each and every airplane after each use if you know me, you know I live to travel. It ignites my soul. I am so blessed to be able to live out my dreams every day. Uh, she puts the hashtag and the ads over there. And she writes, P.S. There is currently less COVID-19, a.k.a. coronavirus in Turkey than there is in South Africa. Look, that part kind of hurts me. It hurts me the most. You know, she's kind of rubbing it in that she's in a safer place. But at the end of the day, when she does come back to South Africa, you know what's going to happen to her? She's going to get quarantined. You are going to be quarantined, quarantined, quarantined. So it's cool. You can enjoy your less uh, coronavirus Turkey. But yeah, at the end of the day, like I said, people were dragging her on social media, saying that she's uh, a little bit reckless with her post now do keep in mind that the post was actually posted about two days ago so two days ago we were not really in the whole quarantine stage that we were people could you know still fly out and in into south africa so i suppose the, the turkish airlines saw this as an opportunity to kind of promote their flights because you know at the time we could, people could still be flying out and into south africa however as things stand now that we are now under that disaster type of phase the stage in south africa it's not that easy to fly in and out of south africa so hey how is the turkish airlines you know it would have been a great advert i suppose you know a great promotion had uh, the president kind of kept us at the same level and didn't lock down south africa but since it is locked down it kind of got her a little bit dragged on social media. So we're going to move on to our fourth topic. Now, the fourth topic is Kerry Hilt Hilson being criticized for her theory on the spread of the coronavirus. So, look, normally I don't really talk about celebrities who are not 
you know south african celebrities i've actually stuck to it but today i decided you know what let me talk about american singer kerry hilson who has come under fire from south african twitter you know sa twitter be rough and uh they came after her after she shared her theory about the spread of the coronavirus in the country which a lot of people are saying is definitely not true so what she is saying a lot of people feel like it is not true and she is spreading false news now the singer suggested that the lack of 5g network in south africa was apparently the reason why the coronavirus isn't spreading as fast in africa now i will say this when it comes to 5g look we are struggling to even get 4g man there are areas in south africa that don't even have 4g so you know what we we are very far away from getting 5g but anyways you know looking at what she wrote on social media let's just go and take the evidence i will say this also about Kerry Hilson. She didn't delete her uh, her actual post. They're still there. So you can go and read them and ask yourself, what msunari is this? But anyways, this is what she wrote. One of the tweets. People have been trying to warn us about 5G for years. Petitions, organizations, studies. What we are going through is uh, the effect of radiation. Okay. She writes, 5G launched in China November the 1st, 2019. People dropped dead. See attached and go to my Instagram stories for more. Turn off 5G by disable uh, disabling LTE. Look, I'm not really going to go through all of this, but uh, she does have some stories that are backing up what she is saying. Now, there's also some stories that are saying that, you know what, 5G is not causing anybody any harm and uh, 5G is perfectly safe. So at the end of the day, Kerry Hilson does have her articles that she is basing her opinion on and... Uh, I suppose everyone who's against her opinion also have their own article. So at this point, it's one of those kind of he said, she said. Now, personally, I don't know what to think about this. I'm not a doctor, so I don't know exactly. And I'm not really, you know, uh, one of those uh, 5G or what what experts. So I don't really know. That's what I'm going to say about that. Not really give you too much of my personal opinion. But apart from that, she also posted uh, the following. Uh, why do you think the virus is not happening in Africa like that? Not a 5G region. There may be few bases there, but not as prevalent as other countries. It has nothing to do with melanin for those theories. So there you go. She's really kind of affirming her belief that it is the lack of 5G in Africa that is the cause of, well, that is why the virus is spreading at such a, I suppose, lower, slower rate. So yeah, that is what basically Kerry Hilson had to say. And like I said, for me personally, there's uh, there's, there's reports supporting what she is saying as well as this report supporting that you know what what she is saying is nonsense so at the end of the day I, we don't know we don't know uh you guys do get in the comments let me know what you guys think do you guys think that 5g is actually the cause of the coronavirus do you guys honestly believe kerry hilson or do you guys think you know what uh kerry hilson is just full of msunari and uh she should just uh, stay off social media for a little while uh, but anyways, moving on to our fifth and final topic. Uh, Ukozi FM is now in a legal battle for announcing the top 10. And this time, Owen Njovu, uh, who took them to court the first time, is taking them to court again. So look, uh, like I said, uh, Ukozi FM is facing yet another legal battle. And... Uh, well, in due time, it seems like Owen Lovu is said to be sending them to the courts uh, this week or next week. You know, they're not really sure. And all of this comes from Iso Lezwe. Now, they reported that the uh, Owen Lovu, who is quote unquote the one who came up with the song of the year voting system, is planning to send them to court so that he can be compensated for 10 million rands. Now, this is for uh, the reason why he wants 10 million rands is because he feels like uh, the SABC has continued to use its voting system even after he has stopped working for the SABC. So he feels like he should be compensated. Now, like we did talk about, Ukozi FM did announce its long-awaited top 10 on Friday last week on the 13th of March. Now, the winner of the song of the year was uh, Maskandi musician Tengani. Now, uh, the owner of uh, Michael Owen Productions, Owen Glovu, also believes that the radio station Ukozi FM underpaid Tengani uh for his winnings after and this is after he gained like 400 over 400,000 votes so like i said in that video he got about 50,000 rands the that was the prize of the actual him getting the number one spot it was 50,000 rands in cash and uh there was no car i i remember you guys were asking me if there was a car there was no car it was just cash and according 
to Owen. This is peanuts compared to what Ukozi FM made from the competition. This is what he said. What irritates me the most is that they underpaid Ntengane with that 50,000 that he won, what, with, which does not come with a car. The singer got 40,000, over 40,000 votes, but got paid peanuts. Now, he also added that in 2016, another Maskandi musician won the song of the year, and that is Muroza, and he won the title and walked away with 150,000 rands in cash as well as car, and he only got about 150,000 votes. So, Ntengane has got in about almost three times more votes and therefore i suppose uh owen kind of feels that he should be getting three times more money now he also goes and does a little bit of maths you know he does a little bit of maths he says um if you do take into consideration that the number one spot the winner got about four hundred and thirty three thousand one hundred and forty two votes and uh, a vote is equals to one rand fifty. That's how much it costs you to vote. So if you do calculate that uh, for those votes times one rand fifty, you get about six hundred and forty nine thousand seven hundred and thirteen rand. However, they only paid him fifty thousand. Uh, so he also goes on to say that the total number of the top 10 spots, uh, if you count the votes, it comes up to about 1,498,932 rand. So if you are going off his mathematics, I would definitely agree that yes, indeed, uh, Ukozi FM has underpaid the winner of the song of the year. He also, uh, now Owen also goes on to say that uh, the musicians and the listeners were paid about 200,000 rands. So from that 1, 1 million and 1.5 million, let's just round it off to that, only 200,000 rands was paid to musicians in the top 10 as well as the listeners. And he does say that this is nothing compared to what they probably made. Now, Owen also made a suggestion he suggested that the money should be distributed equally amongst the musicians in the top 10 so apart from him wanting his 10 million for you know the idea he also wants the artist to be compensated equally you know the ones that were in the top 10 so yeah that is what uh basically owen is taking ukozi fm to court for this time around so yeah hopefully the second time or the second time is the charm and uh yeah let's hope he gets the money so that is the end of the news that's all we got for you today let us take a look at the comments you know we always like to end uh it off on the comments section mm -hmm. we've got web exclusive indoor thanks red live my pleasure uh We've got Catherine Muloy who writes me. I understand what she's talking about. I'm assuming you are talking about uh, Carrie, uh, Carrie Hilson. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, Lebrun DJ Les. We've got at uh, Lalisa Str uh, Straight. She must research guys. We know the pros and cons of 5G, but what uh, she tweeted was out of order. This is uh, again talking about what Carrie Hilson tweeted. Uh, yeah. So, yes, uh, we've got Yuli Ginsta who writes, We see you tomorrow again, Mr. Ray Live. Kisses from uh, Dasseldorf. Oh, thanks for the kisses from Dasseldorf. Mm -hmm, mm, we've got Sabelo who writes, that I'm watching Ray Live using UKZN Wi Fi. I actually had a, 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 someone who requested a, a uh it was at the top actually so uh you guys might not see it but we've got sun 3 who writes there uh mr red live please give me a shout out it's my first time catching you live because on the time difference because of the time difference it's almost 1 a.m this side so some uh prince uh sun 3 is watching red live live at 1 a.m wherever he is you know so thank you for you know spending this uh 1 a.m uh time with us we really do appreciate it We've got uh, Lebuhang, uh, DJ Les, who writes there, uh, United States of America has declared a state of emergency. South Africa, next, Lucky Star, and Beans, Zizoba, Zizha, Abantuan. Uh, yeah, talking about the whole coronavirus, I did read that there's a great R pupil who now has been confirmed to have the virus. Now, great R is like, uh, you know, crash type of stuff. So it's definitely scary times. Uh, we've got King Wesley who writes, they love your work. Keep uh, the news coming. The news will definitely be coming. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. we've got Ron uh, Ronaldo who writes, do you go live every day or there are specific days? Ray Live goes live every day. I'm trying this is just a, a trying i'm trying to go live at 11 a.m and 
of course we're going to go live at 7 p.m in the evening which is our normal time but i'm trying to have two live shows a day so we're going to have live news at 11 a.m and then we're going to have live news at uh 7 p.m which is our normal news so yeah that's it man uh to everyone who uh just caught us if you did enjoy the video do give it a huge thumbs up share it with your family your friends and your enemies confuse the hell out of everybody and also uh if you are new to red live don't forget to hit that red subscribe button thanks for watching and uh do binge watch my videos yeah and i will catch you tomorrow at 11:30.